Welcome back to the study with Sudhir video on the answer key to the ICSC class 10 mathematics examination. I know all of you have been waiting for a long time. As I told one student uh, who said that ki mere ko sona hai, usse pehle mere ko answer key bata do. So that's what I told her that aap so lo, tab tak main dream 11 par answer key bana leta hu. Okay, so here is the answer key and I'll be putting out the answers given by our faculty Pranab sir. So question two. Uh, the first part, the answer is A uh, value, find the value of A, A equals to 3. Uh, the second one of Salman Khan, Salman deposits rupees 1000 every month in a recurring deposit account of uh, for 2 years. If he receives rupees 26,000 on maturity, find the total interest that Salman earns, that is 8, uh, sorry, the rate of interest is 8% and the total interest earned by him is 2000 rupees. Then the value of A, B, C and D is A's value is 90 degrees, B's value is 64 degrees, C's value is 26 degrees and D's value is 26 degrees. Okay, so that is as far as second question is concerned. Let me move, uh, move to the third question now. Third question, X equal to 1.5 and minus 5.5. The second one, of course, is a proving question. Uh, the third part, A, B, C, D, E. A is, of course, a graph. Second is also to be on the graph. Third is F is minus 1, minus 1. D is graph. And the fifth one, which over which there is a lot of discussion and debate, uh, star or octagon or will both be acceptable. Okay. So that's as far as the section A is concerned. I hope you have done it all right. Let's move to uh the question number four and let me actually share for you the answers provided by pranab sir so let me just minimize my thing okay now what you're seeing on screen is the solution that has been worked out by pranab sir to question four one okay the fourth question of your paper, the first part, you can have a look at it and then I will scroll up. Okay. I hope you are able to see and then I am scrolling up. This is the answer which he has put at the end, marking it as answer. If we are done, I will move up. Now, look at Question number two, which has two parts, A and B. These values to be given. And then the next question. I'm not showing you the question paper because in any case, you would have the question paper with you out there. So we will only look at the solutions which have been provided. So D, B and this thing. Okay. So now uh, let's move to... Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is the answer to four part three, which is in four parts, A, B, C, D. You need to give the different values. So that has been provided. Then let's move to the fifth question, which is a GST question. Both parts A and B. I hope you are able to see it clearly. Let me increase the size more. Yeah, actually this would be better, right? So now I should, I think you should be able to see it more clearly. Do you want me to scroll up once again, this part? I'm showing you fourth, third, once again. Fourth, third, once again. And now the GST question, let me just reduce. Yeah, this I think should be fine. So this is as far as the fifth, first part is concerned. Right, I'm moving on. The second part solution is this. Right. I hope you are calculating your marks alongside. Okay. So now let's move to the next one, which would be, no, this is the sixth one, seventh. Now this is the fifth, third part. This is the fifth, third part. Third part of the fifth question. The answers have been put in a box as we had suggested here on SWS. Because that's the best way to highlight your answer. I hope you have done it like that. This is the fifth part. 
let's move to the sixth one that of course is on graph the first part now this is the second part of the sixth question i hope you have seen it noted it down checked verified let's move on this is the sixth third part this is the sixth question part three this is how it is and then he has worked out the entire solution answer has been given in a box at the end do you want me to scroll it slowly this is as far as question number six is concerned let's now move to question number seven yeah this is where seven is this is the seventh part sorry the first top part is getting a little cut i hope you'll be able to make out what is written out there five by 25 equals to one by five and then of course the rest of you do, you know so this is seventh question part one this is part two so part number two x equals to 20 is the value then we go to part three h equals to 294 by 196 equals to 1.5 centimeter that's the final answer right so that's as far as question number seven is concerned i hope you have seen it if not pause it see it and then let's move to question number eight where is it? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, this is the eighth one. This is the eighth one. I hope you are able to see it. This is the first part of the eighth question. Answer 27.25. Then the second part, the answer is 4 of the 8th question. What number must be added to each of the numbers in order to get the 4 numbers in proportion? So x equals to 4. The third part of course is construction as per your theory. Then the ninth question, here it is. The the ninth question okay let me increase the size this is the ninth question the solution worked out for the ninth question i'll wait for another five to ten seconds for you to cross check if you have written all the steps you get marks for steps so it's important for you to write the steps also this is part two the answer being three one Five zero. This is question number nine. This is question number nine, part two. Hmm? And then part two. I'm just checking if I've left out anything, any page. No, I have not. And then there is the final one, which is the is the final page. This is the final page, ninth part three. Ninth part three. Just see the way the solution has been worked out. The steps, 228 meters being the final answer. Right? That's Question number ninth, and then we'll go to the last one. Many of you have attempted attempted an extra answer, which would obviously work to your advantage. And this is the final tenth one. Okay, this is the final tenth one. Right. I hope all of you have seen it. Many of you are scoring 80 on 80, which is absolutely fabulous. Congratulations to all of you. But even if you have lost a few marks, two marks, three marks, either in MCQ or this, nothing to worry. You can make up in the 
next six odd papers. So you have a short gap as far as geography is concerned. So lage rao, we will be putting out a strategy video uh, at eight o'clock today and then follow it up with many more videos over the next two days. Of course, you have the SWS test papers on the app also, which you can use as well. All the best to you. More power to each one of you. All the best. Tata. Bye-bye.